Canada won, France won. Yeah, you, you heard that, right? At the Women's U17 World Cup happening in India. Let's talk about this game really quickly. So Canada played France to a 1-1 draw, and there's a very interesting thought I had thinking about this game. But if I'm going to narrow this down to a theme, it's growing in confidence. And you saw that with this team as the game progressed. Now, if you missed the game, uh, Canada started off a little bit behind the ball. Uh, France was playing a lot of pressure uh, and got one of what turned into of their 10 corner kicks. We'll talk about that and the uh, things we need to improve on. But Coralie Lallier in the keeper's position was able to save many opportunities. Um, maybe got a little lucky on one. We don't know. The replay angle wasn't there. But France was putting a lot of pressure on Canada, and the tide didn't really start to change or didn't shift until about the 15th minute where a France center back is playing the ball back to her keeper. Amanda Allen, who's on the press, gets to it first, but her shot on frame just hits the crossbar and bounces back to the keeper. But from then on, you started to see Canada grow into this game whether that was getting balls out to Caleb Briggs, who was playing balls into the box that we weren't able to get to the end of. Whether that was, again, balls out wide to Jamie Perrault, who played it back to the middle, and maybe we rushed an opportunity. But Canada grew into this game, creating opportunities, while France was still getting opportunities of their own. This all changed once you get to the second half. Now, when the second half starts, Canada starts with a different energy. One of the things that they had, for example, at the CONCACAF championships was even if they weren't playing well, they could always go back to their fastball. And their fastball was pressing teams. And pressing teams because they had better fitness than the other teams. And you start to see that pressure start to leave France a little bit frazzled. In the 59th minute, Emma Humphreys brought on for Jamie Perrault and Kayla Briggs, Annabelle Chikou, as well as Renee Watson and their impact was felt almost immediately where you had Chukwu almost playing a goal away but a touch too heavy leaving it to the goalkeeper and then right before scoring Amanda Allen with a great cut inside and curl shot but was deemed offsides but then in the 67th minute a goal Anna Hauer off of a turnover was able to progress the ball find Annabelle Chiku making a run who was kept on side by one of the center backs for France got in around the keeper and scored 67 minute Canada's up 1-0 I am screaming incoherently that Lee only lasted a few minutes though seven minutes later we have coming in scoring for France off of a bit of a confusion play a player went down for France and Lucy Calaba was then able to put away a header where she made a run in front of Ella Ati, leaving her a bit handcuffed that she was then marking two players and was more so marking a player at the back. And Calvo puts it away, 1-1. One, one. The game stays tied until the end. What did we like? We like that Canada, our baby reds, are we going baby red 17 or baby reds? Doesn't matter. Baby reds. We're able to grow into the game. You saw that after those first 15 minutes, growing in confidence, moving towards the game, and really played like they belonged on the pitch with France, which was very nice to see because they did belong on the pitch and they played very well. You saw their press going back to it when they were able to go back. You saw as the players got more comfortable, they were able to start to push up and be more involved. That's the defenders, the center backs pushing up, sending passes to the strikers, things that we need to improve on. In this game, Canada conceded 10 corners and got none. Now, defensively, they only conceded one goal, but 10 shots on frame is definitely something they need to clean up, as well as creating some more set piece opportunities. 10 corners is a lot. Love to see that number a little bit lower, but the fullbacks were defending as best as they could against the pace and the ability of France. France is a good team as well, so we have to give them credit for the game that they played. But now, what's next? Canada plays Japan on Saturday, 10.30 Eastern Time. A win leaves them in control of their destiny. A loss means they'd have to rely on help from others. Based off the result that Japan had against Tanzania, I feel that 
Canada has a good chance to play against Japan because Japan hasn't placed a team like Canada as of yet, but we'll see. If you saw the game, what did you think? Who stood out to you? More importantly, what are you looking forward to in this team and what improvements would you make? I know I kept it short, but I want you guys to keep along in the comments below. Let's talk about this. I think I'm done talking now.